Now we will explain the trend in a group 7. These are the elements of a group 7 which are known as halogens. We have a fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Earlier in this section, we have mentioned that the reactivity decreases going down group 7. To explain this, we will consider the same factors that we have examined when explaining the trend in group 1. The factors are the size of the atom, the shielding effect of inner electrons, and the nuclear charge. Let's start with the size of the atom. As we move down the group, the size of the atom increases, and this is because as we move down the group, we will add one more electron shell. So, the atom will become larger. Here we have the electronic structures of a group 7 elements, the halogens. Notice that all of them have 7 valence electrons, so they have 7 outer electrons. And this is because they are in group 7. So elements in group 7 have 7 outer electrons in the outermost shell. As we move down the group, the outermost shell electrons will become further away from the nucleus holding a positive charge. Elements of a group 7 tend to react by gaining an electron in their outermost shell to have a total of 8 electrons. As we move down the group, the outermost shell's electrons will become further away from the positive nucleus, so the nucleus holding a positive charge due to the presence of protons, and this is because the distance increases, so it will become harder to attract and gain an extra incoming electron. Moreover, this outer shell will also be shielded by more inner shells of electrons, and this also will reduce the electrostatic attraction of the nucleus for an incoming electron. So as the number of the shells increases, the shielding effect will increase. So the electrons in these inner shells will make the attraction between the positive nucleus and the electrons in the outermost shell weak. And as we move down the group, the effect of the increased nuclear charge is outweighed by the effect of increased distance, so the atoms becoming larger and shielding by more inner electrons. So this means that it will be harder for bromine to gain an electron compared to fluorine. So iodine will be less reactive than bromine, bromine will be less reactive than chlorine, and chlorine will be less reactive than fluorine. So this is why as we move down in group 7, reactivity decreases. Fluorine is the most reactive halogen, and iodine is the least reactive halogen.